Hi Aries and welcome to your 2020 tarot forecast. I'm excited to do these to see what 2020 has in store for all of us. I'm going to be looking at um, six different areas of your life, all that were listed on the thumbnail. And I'm going to, you know, do this in a more positive light. It's not to say negative things aren't going to happen or take place in 2020, but I want to focus on the good stuff that's happening for you guys. So Ooh, I'm going to start off by pulling a card, which is your number for 2020. And this, you know, could be significant in so many different ways. So whatever number comes out, just remember it all year long. Also, you know, do Google search to see the angel meaning behind it or, you know, other meanings about that specific number. So Aries, let's see what your number for 2020 is. 96 forgiveness okay so um 96 would be a 15 which would go down to a six and six is harmony the harmony and flow that comes after the challenge of the five so 96 as well as the number six is significant for you guys and forgiveness okay so aries there's a big emphasis of um healing and forgiveness for your forecast in 2020 and that could play out in so many different ways you know apply that how it fits for you where you need to forgive or where you really wish somebody would forgive you this could be stuff you need to forgive from long ago you know just whatever it is Aries there's going to be a lot of forgiving forgetting healing and releasing of um and I feel this is around more of like things that have happened in relationships, honestly, not so much like different circumstances of your life. Um, it's like you're finally releasing a lot of wounds that you've held on to for quite a long time, but just different things you've experienced. And you've learned a lot of life lessons through that energy. And now in 2020, you're going to forgive, forget, elevate and move on. OK, so the next card we're going to pull, Aries, this is the object that, you know, the angels, your spirit guides, passed on loved ones, will use in 2020 to let you know they are near or to give you guidance, to give you confirmation, um, signs, synchronicities. So let's see right here. Ooh, Aries, you guys have presence. And with presence, this is letting you know that when you feel like you know, the angels are near or a passed on loved one is near or your guide is really giving you advice or trying to push you towards one direction, you are absolutely correct. Your angels, your spirit guides, your passed on loved ones are going to communicate with you more by letting you know they're there somehow, some way. So really pay attention. You know, a breeze that comes out of nowhere or smelling perfume, cologne of passed on loved one or... Um, Sometimes they move items around, but I don't uh, get so much that's what's going on. It's like you feel the presence, and sometimes you're just sitting there, and if you're not picking up on the presence energetically, all of a sudden these thoughts just start dropping in your mind like that. That is your angels, your past on loved ones, your spirit guides coming in to be near you, to give you guidance, to give you advice, you know, give you comfort, just whatever it is you need. So there is your confirmation of that, Aries. Now, I'm going to... Um, start by looking at your love, your abundance, and the growth that's going to take place for you guys in 2020. I'm going to pull um, an oracle card, a different oracle card for each category. So we're going to start with love and see what comes out there. Okay, so we have a karmic flame love. And this might have a lot to do with this forgiveness, Aries. Set that aside. All right, I'm going to pull an overall energy for the abundance. And abundance could be money. It could be love. It could be healing. It could, you know, it, abundance is anything that you're going to need. So there's abundance coming to you in 2020. And this card is going to give us a bit of insight about what that abundance is all about. Because abundance isn't just money. Flow. Nice. So... Things are going to get better for Aries in 2020. There's going to be a more flow in your life. Could be specifically around money. Could be around, you know, love and connection and feeling supported. Very equal type of connections in your life, whether friendships or family, romance, you know. It's just with abundance, there's going to be a nice, steady flow of that for Aries in 2020. Now, 
we're going to pull a card here to see which area of your life is going to experience the most growth and this ultimately is in a positive way you know there could be some bumps along the way as this is happening but this is the area of your life that is going to have the most growth in 2020 we have the eighth house this transformational area of your life is about shared resources and intense emotions all right uh aries i cannot help this just many of you this has to do with like some sort of either romantic or family tie that you've been struggling with that may have hurt you um betrayed you it's just there's some really heavy energy and with karmic flame love here you know this could be a karmic a three-party situation twin flame with a karmic and you know you could be on any side of that situation this is a general reading but whatever that is if that resonates with you if there's a huge transformation taking place um, in those situations in your life as well as within you and you know this could be where you're finally healing and purging and moving on because we do have forgiveness here um, and there's a lot of flow in your life so there's happiness this may Major transformation is bringing happiness this is the biggest area of growth in your life okay intense emotions that you experienced through 2019 with like romance or family that's all changing as well in 2020 and you're just in a much better place some of you it may be that you're finally aligning to your twin flame um, but also I do see a lot of healing in family situations all right so let's um pull some more cards to dig a bit deeper under um, the love we have a forest labyrinth we so you know how whatever you've been going through romantically throughout 2019 whether you are single you're married you're in a third party situation twin flame stuff like no matter what it was aries this is spirit letting you know that everything you experienced had a lot to do with your soul growth a big time intense stuff especially with this eighth house energy coming into your reading and um, this is where you're receiving the most growth so you're growing out of this intense energy and experiences in regards to love and romance it's taught you quite a bit um, you may not be in the awareness of that right now but you will be you know um, many of you are but it's gonna go much deeper than what you've perceived up to this point and it's like like you've made your way through the maze you like passed you have gained everything you needed to gain so there's going to be a lot of change and transformation and that's probably why forgiveness is also coming out oh nice this is good stuff Aries we've got waterfall coming under flow and this is about your abundance yeah big shifting coming for Aries in 2020 you guys did a lot of work in 2019 and prior to that and it's like the wheel turns and um, 2020 is a much easier experience for you. There's much more flow in your life in general. And we have Polaris under this eighth house energy. So this is like some deep, deep healing um, kind of magical energy coming in. You're really going to have a different sense about like connections romantically with your family, with your friends. A lot of maturity in the emotional body and mental body for Aries through all the experiences you've been going through in 2019. And 2020 is like you're receiving the reward and the payoff of all that work and all that growth um, that you've been going through and with the abundance you know this again could be money this could be love this could be support this could be friendships this could be in your career you could just really be advancing in 2020 in your abundance sector Aries you've got flow and waterfall that is amazing energy um, so that's the best news I feel out of this whole reading is like no matter what's going on you, you're going to be all right. And there's a lot of healing coming into like these romantic situations, just whatever you've been going through personally. And there's going to be a lot of forgiveness and, um, you know, just what you choose and the way you go about things in 2020 is going to be quite different than 2019. So a lot of change in the romantic sector of your life as well. And then, man, the growth, the growth, like eighth house uh, is not easy, not easy energy to deal with. And so I know that uh, that being where you're getting the most growth, a lot of this heavy stuff you've been going through, you're not going to be going through that anymore. Like that was 
soul lessons you were working on. So let's pull some tarot. Okay, so let's see. We have the Ten of Pentacles. That's beautiful. Yep. Completion and see what sits on top of that. The um, Three of Swords, Heartache, Pain, and we're completing that. And this being Pentacles, um, you know, it's like what was hurting you and harming you, it really can't touch you anymore. You have established yourself. You've grown yourself. And there's going to be a lot of positive manifestation for you guys in 2020 in regards to love and romance. Under um, the Abundance, we have the King of Swords. So Aries, this could be that, you know, part of um, this flow this shift in your life could come um, at the hand of a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But this could also mean like you just really have your head on straight. Your mind is very clear. You know what you want. You're not deterred. Um, it just feels such like a balanced energy for Aries for 2020. And lastly, look at this. We have the lovers coming out under growth in the eighth house. So this to me is definitely confirmation and boom, look at that. Ten of swords, heartache, pain, tragedy, um, rough endings sitting right on top of that. And Aries, this is the most, the area of your life where you receive the most growth. So you've got the romance here, but then it's also showing up in the growth sector with the lovers coming through. And, you know, if you've been really conflicted all throughout 2019, um, your head and your heart are definitely coming into balance about yourself, about people you love, about what you want. Um, and it's like a clean slate for you. So, 2020, there is a huge emphasis on love and romance, regardless of if you are in a relationship or not at this time, okay? Um, our romantic partners are, you know, where we gain a lot of our growth spiritually and emotionally. So just because you're in a relationship doesn't mean you guys aren't working on things and, you know, people fall in and out of love in 2020. It's just like things are coming back together. Um, everybody's grown and matured and you're just much more sure of yourself, Aries. All right, so I feel like that one wants to come out. So the Five of Wands, yeah, this is where we've been conflicted. We've been unsure, and I'm not surprised to see that. You know, it's a labyrinth coming out there, and now we have the Five of Cups. That's a lot of sadness, so there was a lot of struggle for you guys in regards to abundance in 2019, and again, that comes in different ways. Some of you might have your career is really on point, but you've just struggled in your romantic sector or your family sector or maybe, you know, um, with your friends or just different things. Like we all struggle with different things. And so um, that was a huge hindrance to like the abundance energy coming into your life and not shifting in 2020 because you've done your work. And under the lovers, we have this Ace of Swords. Aries, yes, new beginnings, um, clean slates and existing romances. Uh, 2020 huge emphasis of love and romance for Aries okay but it's positive like you guys have done a lot of um, soul growth and a lot of life lessons in um, 2020 so what I'm gonna do now Aries is I'm gonna pull these cards down and we're gonna look at you know the blessings the big changes and um, the soul life lessons that you're going through in 2020, but ultimately it's a big time healing and shedding of the past, especially around romances or family matters and where you felt really hindered or restricted with the flow of abundance and energy that's all changing. Like you are going to have a steady flow of abundance, of money, of romance, of resources, of happiness, of joy, just, you know, whatever each and every one of you feel like you haven't had enough of, you're getting that boost of in 2020 and big emphasis on love and romance, but a shift for the positive for you guys. So let's um, get into the other parts of your reading here. I'm so excited. Oh, no, we're going to leave those up. And we'll just leave those ones up there, too. Okay, so blessings, Aries. Let's see the biggest blessings you will receive in 2020.
a blessing for solace and hope. Yay, Aries, that right there is good news. That is telling you things are calming down. Things are more in alignment. Things are in flow. Um, things are in balance. There's a big change coming to your love and romance. And I feel to your money sector for most of you. It's this deep, deep healing. And we're coming out of this feeling of like the winter energy, the bitter, the cold, um, the stagnation, the aloneness, the sadness, like all of that is shifting for Aries. So I love to see this. Um, so, you know, the eighth house was the biggest area of your life to receive positive growth. So let's see which area of your life is going to experience the biggest changes because it could just go right along with this or spirit might bring something else out. Let's see. Oh, nice. Aries, you have 12th house energy. This is where you are receiving the biggest change. And 12th house is like the completion. And that, you know, showing up, you guys have been working on some heavy lessons in 2019. And probably even prior to that, to be honest, with 12th house energy. So that being like the biggest change, yeah, 2020 is a much better year for the Aries that this reading is intended for. You guys have done a lot of work at a soul level. You've gone through a lot of really hard relationships all the way around, not just romantically, but all the way around it. It's been changing you and shaping you and growing you and peeling layers of yourself back like an onion. And now, like here we are, ending 2019, we're looking at 2020 and Aries. It's just a complete different change of scenery for you guys. Okay. Uh, life is going to be different. It's going to get better. There's more flow. There's more happiness. There's a lot of healing and forgiveness. Boom, right there. And remember, um, um, that would be a 15 and then uh, 15 goes down to a six six is harmony and flow all right let's look at what life lessons or soul lessons are in focus for you guys for uh, 2020 triggers oh right Aries so triggers coming out um, what you're working on is the different piece of you, the different parts of you within, and this feels like much smaller than what you've been going through, but there's like these remnants of, you know, different traumas and sadnesses and wounds from your past that still exist within you. And so in 2020, when you feel really triggered by something and you're like, why is this bothering me so much? It's because there's a remnant of old energy still attached to you. And in that space, in that recognition, okay, spirit, is there more that this can teach me? How do I release? How do I let this go? How do I purge? Those sort of things. So triggers is um, actually not such a bad thing to be working on at a soul level or you know as a life lesson it's um taking place as you know like this final purge the shedding of these remnants of old things that don't need to hurt you or harm you or exist within you any longer so just keep that in perspective aries through 2020 when something is just really getting under your skin okay spirit what is this teaching me um because I don't, you know, we're always learning, but um, sometimes it's like we've just got to let something go. We've got to just forgive and release. Okay, so let's pull some more cards about these and dig a bit deeper. So we have the gatekeeper coming out under your blessings. The gate is opening for Aries. Yes under um big change is look at this sorrow yep that's 12th house aries you have you've completed some major stuff um and this is the biggest change in your life it's what has really been dragging you down pulling you down emotionally is shifting out of your experience because you've overcome it whether you realize it or not you have you've done so much work and then under um, soul and life lessons accepting the quest okay so Aries what you are asking for what you are trying to achieve in 2020 these remnants of energy has to get out of you and so that's why you will be triggered and when that's happening 
be like, oh, okay. I just work through it. And it, it's not like this insane, heavy process that's, you know, hard to deal with at all whatsoever. Um, this is just like the last piece, like the last part of your journey as you are, you know, transforming into this beautiful new version of yourself that feels so balanced mentally and emotionally opposed to what you've been going through. So if you're triggered, don't let it anger you. Don't personalize stuff. Go within and figure out why am I triggered by that? How can I heal inside of me and just release that for good? All right, let's pull some tarot. Hanged man. Look at that. Three of swords coming out under this. And then, yay, the world. Aries, absolutely. Um, 2020 is going to be such a better year. I Even though we have a little bit of triggers that we're working through, much better year. The heaviness, what has hurt you the most in 2019, is not meant to be part of your journey in 2020. Really overcoming that solace, hope, happiness, peace, flow of abundance the biggest change coming from you know this intense 12th house energy that's attached to a lot of star sadness heartache heartbreak um you know disappointment loneliness depression all of that changing and forgiveness coming in oh aries it's going to be such a better year in 2020 and you you guys were just working on a lot at a soul level and you've so overcome so much so let's pull some tarot some more tarot i should say under blessings look at that karmic entanglements so um, part of like, you know, this life lesson, soul lesson, the stuff you've been going through in 2020 or in 2019 had a lot to do with um, like karmic contracts or karmic energy. And you've really balanced that out because this is your blessing. So all the work and balancing that you've been doing, it's 2020 is the year of your reward. Card 15, that would be a six. There's your six again. Now we have um, the uh, lessons card here. And, you know, this is all about you and the magic that exists within you you are the magician and um you know this coming out uh the ace of lessons here um under this column it's is really a nice card because it's saying like almost like magic what you've really struggled with emotionally and mentally throughout 2019 it was like soul lessons. It was karmic work, like all of that. And you've done it. And now it's like, just like leaving you and like magic. You just are feeling better. You know, you might be like, God, I just, I don't know why I was bothered by that for so long. Cause now it's just like, it doesn't even feel like a big deal to me anymore. And you know, the more that you work through that release and expansion, the less you will be triggered by anything. Yay. And now you've got the energy worker. So you've got the ace of lessons, which which is all about magic and now you've got the energy worker which is the magician so you are magic you can overcome anything and um be very aware of energy. I just, I see that across this whole bottom row because you've got the presence here, the energy worker, the ace of lessons, and you have this magic flying out from the book and then the energy and, um, you know, both of her hands there. So Aries, your energy is big time shifting between 2019 and then as you move through 2020. And you're going to have like a lot of new beginnings. You're going to have a lot of flow of abundance. Your energy is different. It's more attractive. You are. And what I mean by more attractive is like more open to receiving abundance. All right. Um, there was some of you were really closed up just based on what you were going through. And as that starts releasing from you and your consciousness expands, you just feel different and your energy opens and more and more positive things just start coming to you very naturally, Aries. So 2020 looks to be a very positive year for you. Um, your romance is definitely going to improve um, your romantic situations. Uh, you know, those of you who've been single for quite some time, it looks like 2020 may be the year where you are going to come into a new romance. There's a lot of flow of energy, especially around abundance. And again, abundance could be really anything, but I do feel like a sense of money or material comfort resources is there's definitely an increase for you guys because 12th house with the world, you have gone through quite a bit. And it, it's just, I see 
like the sadness here in this middle row and that's the biggest place the biggest area of your life that's going to experience change and the biggest area of your life that's experiencing growth it's like they're mirroring each other so um relationships romantic as well as family huge positive shift to that Aries a lot of um, flow and abundance remember your spirit guides your angels your past on loved ones are going to really let you know they are there so don't discount any of those signs um, 96 number 6 a very significant number for you and it's a year of forgiveness all right so those are your messages for 2020 Aries I'm wishing you a very beautiful and blessed year take care